Exactly. So you kind of talk about, um, you know, leading, you're talking about the the camaraderie in the clubhouse and fantasy camp kind of reignites that for some Mm -hmm. of you guys as a former manager. So this podcast is not just about Royals or baseball or real estate. Uh, We like to incorporate as much about leadership as possible because we have a lot of community leaders that listen to this podcast. So as a leader of a ball club, um, especially coming from the fact that you were peers with a lot of the guys that you led and managed, Mm -hmm. what was that like? I mean, you went from being essentially peers on an even playing field to then being the boss. Yeah, uh, really different, Bobby, because, you know, I played with them in 85 in the World Series. In 86, I got released the last day of spring training. I was a 26 guy, and uh, they asked me if I wanted to stay on. I still had two more years of my contract, and they asked me. And I got my 10 years in, won a World Series. I wanted to stay home with the family. Said, do you want to be an assistant coach in the bullpen? You know, catch a little bit and help out Jim Schaefer, who was our bullpen coach. I said, mm-hmm. yeah, that sounds great. And then Dick Hauser got sick at the halfway point of that year. That was 86 and got the brain tumor at the all-star break. They just discovered it. And so I moved to play to coach first base the second half. And then John Scherholz, our general manager, asked me, do you want to manage in Omaha next year? I said, well, yeah, I've always kind of wanted to manage. Funny story about that, going backwards. When I first got the big leagues, I played for Whitey Herzog, and he oh, yeah. told a writer yeah. one time, after two years in the big league, he said, that guy's going to manage one day in the big league. No kidding. Yeah. Wow. And so that I had never thought about it. Yeah, I was just worried about my life in, in the major leagues and staying for as long as I could. Right. So, but that, at that point, it kind of made me think about what he had said. I said, yeah, I'll, I'll go manage. So I'm, I'm hoping I can manage in Omaha for two or three years to gain some experience before coming back to Kansas City. It won't be the players I played with there anymore. <laughs> so <clears throat> Billy Gardner gets fired. He took over for Hauser. He gets fired in August. So I had a week to go in the minor league season. And they called me and said, would you come up and manage? Well, Knowing I probably wasn't ready, would like more time. You still don't turn it down because it, you know, you might. No, it's going to come up again, right? But it's funny you say you don't turn it down. Hal McRae actually was asked first, and he turned it down. And then he followed you. He obviously, followed me, right? Yeah, he decided later that he wanted to do wow, it. Wow, yeah. right? So yeah, I got called up, and seven guys I played with were on the team, and you know, I called them in the first day and said, you know, this is going to be kind of awkward, but you know, I've, I'm the manager now. I need your guys' help. You guys got to help me out here. And, and we're all on the same page as far as wanting to win again. And, and let's let's try to do it. But it's, it's different. You know, it's still different no matter what you say or do. You know, I just if you guys have any ideas, come on into my office. Let me know what I might be doing wrong or what we can do better. Sure. So it, it was a little bit different. Yeah, it really was. Um, this is the ABC Podcast.